I know these are tough times at the moment, but I've got a little way of giving you a bit of a pick-me-up. Um, two days ago, I felt absolutely on top of the world. Loads of exercise, loads, and I was up like this. I was really happy. But as a consequence, yesterday, I felt like this. Sad, down, just tired, really. So today, I just want to feel a bit more balanced and help people with things where we're sitting a lot, where we're getting a sore neck, and see if we can release the fascia, the muscles in the face, the tension, and see if the neck feels better just by working your face. That still amazes me how fascial release works all over the body. So just a simple way of working with fascia in the face can help your neck. So let's go back to just placing a little bit of light pressure on your hands. Is your head feeling a bit tilted? Are you aware of heat, tension in the neck? Let's leave that to one side and focus on our face. The first part... When we're looking at working the parts of the face, we want to feel where the ridges are, the ridges of our cheekbones, the ridges of our eye sockets. So if we go into near the tear ducts, just that point where you feel the slight ridge of the eyeball sockets, and just with light pressure, circle, circle till you get to the side here. And then do the same, starting here, releasing the tension around the up part, up, upper part of the eye socket. So we're always drawing back with forward head tilts, postures. Our face muscles have to do a lot of work to help pull the head back on top. So do that a few times, going around the eye sockets. Now going a bit further, you can do a bigger circle. You could always do a half circle this way and then a half circle this way. And then you start to feel the temporalis muscles, the muscles in the temple here. And you might notice one side's a bit more tense than the other. My right side is definitely much more tense. So again, it's very sensitive here light pressure over the sensitive bits and then come back and feel a ridge where you feel it's like the attachments of the muscles get a little bit sore a little bit stuck go down from the temples down to your jawbone muscle, you'll feel the masseter, it's called, the mighty masseter. And work that masseter muscle. And then come to the top again, you'll feel another ridge in here. Some attachments of the jawbone. 
Just put a little bit of pressure and slight move, moving back motion with the hand and move the jaw. So I'm getting this by talking. So you can do it by just feeling where the tension releases with movement. So we could say this is a massage in some points. We want to massage a little bit of the tension where it's tight, but also release the myofascia. And myofascial release is when you find a tight area and then you perform a movement. You can feel the gliding of the tissue underneath your fingers as you slowly pull down and back. Grab the ears. Feel where the tension is around the ears. Circle around the ears. And then come to the sides feeling for another ridge of the skull and you'll feel a muscle pop out there if you turn your head enough. Put the top of the SCM, the sternocleidomastoid mastoid muscles. And then again, feel where that ridge is. Move, move the jaw, move the neck slightly and slowly massage back. Spend more time on certain areas if you really feel it's working and also spend a little bit more time on the most tense side. My tension's down this right side of the body and I can feel a difference. So I'm thinking of evening that up. Then this big SCM muscle that comes down the side just want to gently glide back, so we're pushing it back. You feel a slight tightness on the throat. It'll tell you if you're pushing too much because you might choke. But find the right pressure that works. And if you've ever Felt your carotid artery pulse. See if you can do that on both sides. And breathe there. You can feel the pulse. Thinking about the parasympathetic. Now on that ridge you are on, where, the, where you feel that carotid artery pulse, very slightly to the front of it is something called our vagus nerve. This nerve is a part of a huge network that's responsible for our parasympathetic, our calming. Very gently follow up in front of the SCM Rotted artery just anterior to that is something called our vagus nerve. Now, just think more about being in the postcode. If you can't feel things or it doesn't feel like, oh, my face feels different to that, just bring your tension there. And then feel for this. SCM, give it a bit of a pinch, pull back very gently, I'm not applying a lot of pressure here, if that feels good gradually increase the pressure, use the palm of your hand to press up 
and back this time. Feeling right up to the top, under the jaw here. Careful if it feels a bit tender. You've got some glands here. And just slowly thinking about circulation. Get the front of the chin, find another ridge here. And then slowly map that jawbone, the masseter, both sides as you bring this tension back. You can also feel two fingers. You could almost call this a natural facelift where you've got the fingers under here, drawing upwards and back as well, just gently. You're not using your neck muscles to bring it back. You're just slowly allowing the pressure of the hand to release the muscle and bring it back. I'm going to bring my attention back to my neck. Already my neck feels better. It feels more on balance and I hope you like this.